In the early 1980s, IBM was ready to release their first 8086 IBM PC. And in contrary to their traditional in-house development strategy, they decided that critical components of their PC, including the operating system, would come from outside vendors. When I was looking for a small computer, I went to IBM. For the task of supplying an operating system, they started negotiations with a company that had only been around for five years at that time, Microsoft. At the time of the negotiations, Microsoft didn't actually have an operating system yet. Bill, why did you tell them we have an operating system? We have a thing to sell them now, you know, we're dead. But they still landed the deal with IBM. Microsoft ended up buying an operating system named 86DOS from Seattle Computer Products, a disk operating system for 8086-based computers. 86DOS was written by Tim Patterson, and it was basically a clone of Digital Research's CPM for 8080 and Z80 processors ported by Tim to run on 8086 processors. Now, allegedly they bought 86 DOS for a mere $50,000. And this is where the businessman Bill Gates made one of his key decisions that would make Microsoft millions. Hello, I'm Bill Gates, chairman of Microsoft. They didn't sell the software, they licensed it meaning that they kept ownership of the software and for every PC sold with DOS installed on it, Microsoft would get a small amount. Now that Microsoft had its operating system, Bob O'Rear was assigned with the task of making it work on the IBM PC. And in August of 1981, he finished working on the project which IBM named PC-DOS 1.0. Since Microsoft was the owner of the software, Microsoft itself also distributed the operating system for other PC clones under the name MS-DOS, short for Microsoft DOS. IBM insisted Microsoft also included a version of BASIC with PC-DOS, along with a few simple games to show it off. BASIC was a programming language for beginners and Microsoft had worked on BASIC before. Their first project as a fresh company was developing a BASIC interpreter for the Altern 8800 microcomputer in 1975. They wrote the interpreter without even having an 8800 in their possession, but that is for another video. And so, Microsoft began working on a version of BASIC and essentially the first game ever created for an 8086 IBM PC, Donkey.Bus. The first version of Donkey was released in 1981, followed by version 1.1 in 1982. Many years later, when Bill Gates was asked who wrote the Donkey.Bus game, he said, Actually, it was myself and Neil Thompson at 4 in the morning with this prototype IBM PC sitting in this small room. We wrote late at night a little application to show what the BASIC built into the IBM PC could do. And so that was Donkey.Bus. It was at the time very thrilling. The source code is only 131 lines long, at least for version 1.1, and really couldn't be simpler. And the gameplay itself? Even simpler. It features you, the driver of some sort of race car, on a two-lane road trying to dodge the terror of the donkeys. If you think having donkeys as the main enemy is weird, I raise you with Attack of the Mutant Camels on the Commodore 64. Anyway, controls are more or less absent. You press the spacebar to switch lanes and that's it. The car slowly drives to the top of the screen while donkeys randomly appear on either lane. Then when you make it to the top, you get a point 
And if you hit one of the donkeys, the donkeys get a point. And you're right, that doesn't make any sense. Andy Hertzfeld, who worked at Apple at the time, remembers the game being reviewed by Apple as part of their strategy to keep up with what the competition was doing. And he recalls, the most embarrassing game was a low-res graphics game called Donkey. We thought the concept of the game was as bad as the crude graphics that it used. Since the game was written in BASIC, you could list it out and see how it was written. And we were surprised to see that the comments at the top of the game proudly proclaimed the authors Bill Gates and Neil Kanzen. We were amazed that such a thoroughly bad game could be co-authored by Microsoft's co-founder and that he would actually want to take credit for it in the comments. Now granted, the game is simplistic and can hardly be called a game, but it was never written to be a game in that sense of the word. It was nothing more than an example of what could be done with the basic programming language. It was a tutorial, a demo if you will, a way to guide people into creating their own games in the basic programming language on an IBM PC. Simplistic it was for sure, but it is an important part of PC history, a monument even, reminding us of the birth of the first 8086 IBM PC, a machine that would kickstart the PC revolution. And Bill Gates was part of it, writing the first game ever for it, Donkey.Bus. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.